L, lower of one. Mecha here, you don't have to be so negative because I got that covered in Fire Emblem 5, Thracia 776, negative growths along with raisins. Raisins, are you ready to breathe? <clears throat> Am I? I hope so, because hope we're so. playing a breather chapter today. Chapter 15. <laughs> two paths. No, it's two paths. <gasps> Don't tell me this is the one with the split. Kaga did it first. Again. No. It is the split. There's a split here. It is the split. Yeah. Nice. I it's didn't these, know. These blue arrows, they indicate a split. Uh, take a good look at these arrows, because you're not going to see me interact with them ever again. As you see, they're a wasteland. They're a waste of my time. I don't need to they're... waste my time with this wasteland. Or this forest, for that matter. I thought they were a waste of your land. Yeah, they're a waste of space, I guess huh. I could say. Because uh, this is a chapter where you decide whether you go A routes or B routes, and depending on which one you pick. For two consecutive maps, you'll have different map, slightly different characters, slightly different story-ish, uh, just slightly different events map happening overall. And we'll go mm -hmm. into the choice a little bit. But this is the rest of the chapter. You can pick by going to this arrow for B route, I think, and then this one for A route. The reason I'm so unsure is because I always make my choice at the church by visiting with Leaf. I would always advise you to do this because it's easier to reach. It's near all the other side objectives where we have to do. And if you go here, you just have a choice where you want to go. And you also get a free restore staff to boot. So always just make your choice at the at the church. When in doubt, that go to church sense. is what I think I'll never say again. But in this case, I think it applies. It makes sense. Mm -hmm. You go to the church. I mean, like, it heals you like a genealogy too, but... Does it? No, in this case. <laughs> I, I don't think it does. I don't think it does either. Uh, you know, I gotta ask, what, what did you do in this chapter? What did I do? Yeah. This, I thought I told you, this is past the point. Oh, right, this is past the point, I forgot. You didn't play past here, that's right. Okay, so this is this is real first impressions here. Okay, fair, fair Real fair. first impressions. Yeah, okay, so this. So when we see a new character, you'll just have no idea, right? That's the idea? Yeah, I'll be like, I'll be like, honestly, I looked at the new characters today, and I'm like, are these guys pre-promotes, or like... <laughs> <laughs> that's good, I'll just start the map, like, I'll just start the map. I honestly didn't know. They'll see, they'll all see. Mm -hmm. Two paths. But I, I do know that, like, the decision to go A route or B route, like I said, it's only for two chapters, but it does give you uh, one of two characters. Like, you, you do have to choose between two characters that you would get. Yeah, and, multiple, uh, fact, multiple of two characters. No, I yeah. see. Yeah. Um, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. And I know that from from some of our prior discussions, one, one set of them was considerably more attractive than the other, yes. or, like, you were considering going a route that you didn't normally, you didn't normally take, that was unconventional in any case. I'm looking forward to seeing what you do. I'm sure you get like a greater breakdown later. Yes, for sure. Uh, so we have two new characters today that will be joining regardless of road choice. And one of them is right here. This is Lenoan, um, right here. The cleric, mm -hmm. we get our growths on screen on here. Um, so you see this, I don't think, is this the character you saw and you went, is this a promote? Uh, n uh, for a moment there, I was like, is this? But no, I looked it up, I was like, okay, definitely <laughs> not, definitely not. <laughs> Okay. Well, I had to look up the class. It, prom it promoted to Sage, and I was like, okay. Oh, that, that, that right. can't be pre-promoted. That's too good. <laughs> you can't be pre-promoted yeah, no. to Sage. That's too strong. Yeah. I know, dude. Imagine mm -hmm. a, a, a three promote. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't know. Okay. But yeah, no. This unit seems like okay. Another cleric. It's it's like some per it's like uh, some person's girlfriend, right, or some person's fiance. Yeah. It's, uh, I think so. It's, I need to say this right. I think she's Arion's fiance. But she's also in a close relationship with Dean from our army. She gives him a 20% support, in fact, a mutual support. Makes sense. So what like straight away jumps out to me though is this FCM5. Yeah. Like 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 is is that is that a thing? I actually think it's one of the least relevant things about her, but it's it definitely jumps out. I agree that it jumps out. But I don't think it's mattered a whole lot for me when I play with her personally. Mm hmm I mean like it's very serious, so we know staff unit's good. It's just in in this case it's another staff unit like three with C rank staffs. I guess if you're really into that sort of thing, you could like train up another staff user, another seven levels and another one weapon rank and staffs, and you have another person at high rank staffs who can just kinda do it all. Yeah, that will be the case for any regular unit. Uh, unfortunately no one is a unit uh, that with if you have more knowledge about the game if you've played it. Uh, then she's vastly different. It's really hard to analyze her without knowing like, exactly how she works, right? Because one thing you got to know about the Loan is that she doesn't promote with a Master Seal. Instead, she has a story-based promotion that you can activate in a later chapter. The chapter is 21 or 22? 21, I'm pretty sure. So 
If this was a normal unit like that, I could level her to 10 and promote her, but I can't. She gets a story-based promotion instead, and so I can't promote her beforehand. Which made me really think, you know, is it worth grinding this unit's staff rank up from C to B or A before promoting, or maybe getting her to B and then promoting her, like with Salem? And basically what I did with Safi as well, when you think about it. Um, I decided the most optimal way for me to use loan, I think, is going to be not use her. Just don't <clears> until she promotes. And as she promotes, she'll promote to Sage. I don't remember her promotion bonuses, but because it's a Kaga game, I know they're going to be good. Uh, she'll probably get like plus 25 magic or something. And I don't have a B-rank staff user with actual acceptable magic. And the alternative is like I can get an A-rank staff user with high, higher magic. But I was like, you know what? Uh, with like slightly higher magic, right? But she'll lose some magic along the way. And when you think about it, if you go to A-rank magic, what kind of stats do you get that matter magic-wise? Not a whole lot. Like you get warp, rewarp, rescue. But those don't need magic to work at all. So yeah, I'd rather have... Completely a has, agnost. Yeah. I'd rather have a unit with B-rank staffs or C-rank staffs with high-ish magic that can use, for example, sleep or silence, stuff like that. I think that would be way more valuable because I got Safi for the A-rank ta staff tasks. And maybe I'll get up to A-rank eventually, you know, just use enough good staffs late game to just use mm -hmm. um, Rewarp and Warp for her anyway. Uh, maybe her magic will just grow down anyway along the way. Um, we'll see how I'll go about that, but I think I'm pretty sure I like the deal of just getting a B-rank staff user Jeffrey 21, and then maybe some utility C rank stabs along the way. Uh, but I don't want to use her a whole lot. Her growths are really good all around. Um, I think you've taken a look at them already, but it's like, I know they're on the screen, but they're not for me. So, like, good yeah. magic growth and good speed growth. So, offensively, she'll become pretty good if you use her in a normal playthrough. But from least she'll just become out of the trash in combat if I just use her like that. So, I can't do that. And if you look at her bases, like 16 HP, her defense, these might look familiar. Like, this is what our auto stack uses in, like, Lara has had. I can't really use that for combat. Maybe magical combat, but in that case, she doesn't do enough damage. Um, yeah, she no, does have a very interesting unpromoted class that she can use magic theoretically. Uh, mostly focused on B like magic, everything else is just E rank. It's enough for fire and thunder, enough for wind, so she can't use wind until she promotes. Uh, but mm -hmm. really, the stick out stat for me is just C rank stabs. That's good. <laughs> That's all there is to it for me. So That's right. So, in a way, she is a pre promote, just yeah, not right now. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You were right all along, actually. You were right all along. I knew it. I, I, my spidey senses were correct. Yeah. By the way, um, speaking of normal playthrough, you presented this kind of trade-off where it's like you could use her now and trade her up and her stats would be lower or you could just save her for later. Obviously, guys, it's only in the context of a negative growth playthrough, oh, yeah. right? Like, this whole this whole thing about, like, getting a powerful staff user in Chapter 21, I think you said it was. Yeah. If you're just playing casually, you can still do that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, big use of her And use her in the yeah, interim. For sure. Yeah. Uh, you have to deal so. with the fact that, like, you'll run lower on, like, utility stabs if you try to grind her up with that. Like, if you, if you spam this in Sorcel right here, that'll get mm -hmm. spent, uh, which, in my case, I just, I'm just going to take advantage of it and hoard it. Uh, but usually she joins in 14x, which is a chapter I chose not to play, which is a fog of warm-up, so that's a good opportunity to spam Torch with her and get some staff rank. The problem with it for me is that until she promotes, she's probably not going to reach A-rank stabs, unless you grind her a lot, lot. So it's generally a bit of high effort. I generally just find enough utility in B-rank stabs before promoting um, to get there. And then the, the magic growth is nice though, because having a late game 20 magic user is really valuable if you can get it. I can't get it either way because negative growth, but a normal playthrough, yeah, I would definitely recommend getting some level ups on her before she promotes. It's really helpful. Um, she's not going to be fair for this chapter though, because I don't really need staff spam. In fact, I benched almost all the mainstays of this playthrough. I benched Dakdar, I benched Safi, I benched Salem, I benched Laura. I put them all on the bench. It's like, no, no fatigue drink for you, no S drink for you. Uh, we'll do this the, the cool way. We'll have three flyers, though, so that'll be uh, really interesting. But they get to breathe, because it's a breather chapter. Oh. Um, so Leaf needs to make his way up here, and I'm going to set up what I hope will be a successful, cool, uh, rescue-ish trick um, on Edda and Karen. They'll get uh, Leaf and Harn. So I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab Leaf with Finn right here. Put him over here. And I'm gonna put Hearn over here. Okay, that, that's the most unhelpful thing I've ever seen. Still uh, gonna put Parn over here, yeah. Go here, <laughs> pick him up. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll use Trude, because why not? Uh, put him over here. Yeah, this is fine. And I'll use his turn to put both of these rescue units on these flyers. There you go, take him. And we'll just drop yeah, people always talk side. about Tracer trading. People yeah. never talk about like Tracer rescuing. I know, it's right? like, 
equally breaking the action economy. Gorgeous, isn't it? There you go. Another on the other side of the mountain. Very cool. And then uh, we could visit the church. We don't want to. We need to visit it with Leaf later on anyway. Uh, so I'm just gonna fly out with. Yeah, I'm just gonna fly out with Dean for now. Uh, I got some uh, some weapons on him. Let's put him here for now. And then I guess I'll just grab Trude and go over to the left side. Because there's a village there that I think I would like to save. So I'll just pass him along here real quick. Inefficient mecha. You could have done with that. Could have done with Glade first. Yeah, probably. But I wasn't. I wasn't thinking tisk, about that part. I was tisk, too invested in my, the map. my rescue chain. My, uh, my tisk, tisk. rescue chain. Reset the map. Also Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they're gonna run down here. These are all bandits that are trying to burn down the church and the villages. So we really want to prevent that. Uh, I think the brigands really like burning down the villages, even over attacking, if they're given a choice. So you do got to cover them in time. The opposite of fe 6 AI, I see. Yeah. I'm always reminded of that one pirate from Erica Routes in Sacred Stones that, like, just ignores you and just go for the village. Like, you can't stop me. I'm gonna burn down this village. I'm gonna cost you your <laughs> angelic robe and everything. Don't want it. This one, the church Sometimes is like... Sometimes it's two sisters. <laughs> oh. When the church is like, I choose violence, and so they bring out two really strong enemies, or two strong NPCs that I wouldn't blame you for thinking are pre promotes because they were. <laughs> Go. Here's Ralph throwing a hand axe at this poor mercenary. It is, yo, oh my goodness. Okay, if you wanted at it, I would have been like, <laughs> recruit, recruit this man. I know, right? And here's Amelda. She's using a Master Sword, which is a brave weapon, so this guy just gets completely destroyed. Just gets wrecked. Yeah. Wait, what? Come on, Mecca. You're learning us on, like, oh my god, we gotta go save the villagers. We are. We do. Still, because, like I said, these guys are gonna ignore them. <clears throat> oh, makes sense. Sorry, my throat hurt. Um, so I'll show Amelda real quick. She's not joining us yet, but she is here. Uh, cool thing to note here that you won't see her from the stat screen. She's invincible for this chapter. She cannot die. Literally cannot die. So That makes sense. As long as she's here, you know, we, we feel pretty good about ourselves. Let me put it that way. She's pretty good. Uh, but we'll probably run into her later, one way or the other. Something tells me this is a this is a recruitable unit. Yes. Even if not now. Is it the fact that they're not ugly? Uh, I mean, I wasn't going to be the one to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph is here. Uh, he'll join us in a minute. One thing I do want to notice real quick. You can't see it right now, but he's actually gaining X rank because he fights right now. Uh, he has C rank oh. access, but he's actually gaining it while he's fighting. Uh, we'll take a closer look at his stats when he have to recruit him, which is going to be a bit of a challenge. Do enemies uh, also gain weapon XP? I know they're doing Radiant Dawn. Yes. But... I don't think we can see oh, nice. it, but yeah, they do. Uh, we can see our gain, right? Yeah, we can see it on ours. Um, so, actually, I actually want Leaf a bit closer to you know, this whole thing over here. So I think I might rescue drop him again with Dean. And just put Dean out here. So I do want to make sure I'm not in range of the archers, the hunters, with my flyers. Yeah, I'm going to grab Leaf. Actually, what I could do is grab Leaf with, like, Karen and <clears> drop her with Pern. I mean, the goal her. is to recruit Ralph this yeah. turn or next turn? Next turn. We can't do this turn. If I had Lara around, it would be way easier, but I chose to, like, venture despite the fact I have a million uh, deep drinks. Is I'll there a like... risk to keeping a blue unit nearby Ralph, and then on the next turn you just pick up Ralph and take drop Ralph as opposed to doing it with Leaf? That's also possible, yes. Uh, I would like my Flash to do other things after this turn, though, so... Uh. Probably not. But it can work. That's what you mean. I can definitely do that because like Ralph's like kind of nice to have on front lines here. He's uh, he's pretty strong. But I, I'm sure it's like a reasonable solution. The other problem with Ralph is that he's very heavy. He has uh, 14 cons. So if my flyer picks him up, he has he has their movements. So oh goodness. What I'll try is uh, try like this position here. He's this thick. Close enough. Yeah, he's very thick. And the, the thing about Ralph is it's a bit random where he goes exactly. Uh, let's do Dean here. This is technically in range of these enemies, or in range of Ralph, if he stays where he is. He's probably not going to stay where he is. Let's see. Okay, that's, that might be helpful. Not sure yet. Okay, I want to stay out of range of him if I can help it, because he's, like, kind of tough. He has a quite good stats, actually. He's oh, pretty, oh my yeah, you say, you say that Ralph is thick, but this guy's 20 con. It's really 25. You can't capture him. That's really... <laughs> he's, uh, he's got a pole axe, which I suppose is, like, meant to scare you from... Like, oh no, what if he kills Amelda? But since a Amelda's invincible, that's not happening. I think I'll put Dean in the thick of it. Maybe not in his way. That's a forest. Okay, you can't reach where the brigand is. I'll just put him on a forest. Just uh, dismount him. 
it's like the fire and flame sword or whatever, then I'm probably not gonna attack him anyway. I could even like kill this one brigand. I think that's actually helpful to do. Just reduce the chances that Ralph goes somewhere like inconvenient. Yeah, I'm not sure honestly if it makes the odds better or worse, but it seems like a good play. And then Karen. I mean, at some point we've got to start getting the villages, right? Like. Yeah, we do. Uh, which is why I think I'll pick up one right now with uh, Ern as he goes here. Peter Chum. Peter Chum. Peter Chum. Skilled ring. Skill ring. Oh, nice. A skilled Ooh. ring can beat any village. Uh, get two villages. Yeah, we could throw him in a thick of it. I, was, I think I'll just grab another village, though. Like, just there you go. He, my hands. he L canceled the village input, that's fine. Strong folk needs strong swords, right? Let's get ourselves Master a sword. slayer. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Close enough. That's okay. Yeah, no. Let's at least leave the village to leave us on, which is uh, Kittle Lance, I believe, which is very helpful because the other one I have is almost broken. I think Karen will go here. Uh, I still need to visit the shop for sure. It's very important. Gotta buy door keys, so don't forget that. Don't let me forget it. And is we'll... this the fabled door key shop? Yeah, the fabled one. It's the, it's the second fabled door key shop. The first one was in, in chapter 9, but it didn't give me enough, so I want more. You need more. Okay, these guys it's undeployed the thieves. Yeah. Put these guys uh, in here so they can save this village from a brigand that probably spawns from here, I believe. Mm -hmm. So they'll be working on that part. Nothing to do with wanting to go left route. No, not really. Although, that is the route I probably end up going anyway. But, Ooh. Let's see. Maybe... Yeah, I look forward to hearing the full breakdown. Yeah. I think I'll probably... If I just talk about the breakdown, it's not going to mean a whole lot to people who haven't played it. So I'll probably talk about it over the course of the routes as well. But a mm -hmm. brief overview would be welcome, I think. Uh, let's bring her over here because we need healing. I think she, yeah, she has a normal heal on her, so she can heal if we really need her to. Let's bring an old one. Yeah, like a lot of the a lot of the breakdown of why we want to go one route over the other is like some of the characters are considerably more attractive. But if we talk yeah. about what makes them more attractive now, we won't have anything to talk about when the units actually show up. <laughs> so for sure. We need, we need to budget ourselves. Yes. Let me see what these clowns are going to do. That one's going for Ralph. Unfortunately, it's the hand axe equipped instead of the iron blade. Iron blade would have been, I think, slightly better here, but he got mm -hmm. the job done, apparently. Still I just doubles. hope he goes for someone close to me next turn so I can grab him with leaf. It's not all terrible if he goes another way, because um, well, as long as Ralph is not recruited, Amala fights enemies and just stays around in general, which is helpful. Whereas the moment that you recruit Ralph, uh, Amel is just running away and stops attacking anyone. And I kind of like it when she kills enemies for me. Like, it's still negative growth. A bit nice. Okay, that's good. I was about to say, like, recruiting recruiting Ralph and having him do stuff up here doesn't really seem, like, that productive. Like, you, you're also losing Hand Axe. Yeah. Seems like Hand Axe is kind of valuable, I won't lie. Eh. I mean, the hit rate is, on it is so bad, I never feel like I want to use Hand Axe. It's just, like... When's the last time I was playing? Axe? I mean, I guess Ralph is technically a good <laughs> axe unit, so maybe a hand axe on him will be helpful every now and then. Let's see what he does. I hope he stays in leaf range, please. When was the last time he deployed a good oh, axe unit? Oh like, where are you going? Chatter for last. Where are you going? Oh, no. Dude, what do you think you're doing? Okay, maybe Amaldo will move and we can do a rescue. Possibly. I think he's thick. He's so thick. Okay, you might have to spend about a turn just chilling mm. here. He's in range of the boss if the enemies move out of the way for him. Let's see. I can't pick him up with Dean, because if Dean mounts here and rescues Ralph, he's stuck in place. He can't cancel afterwards, so it's going to have to be Karen and Edda doing work. Um, which is ever so slightly annoying. Hmm. Figure a way out. Eventually, he'll be on our range. Like, there's no way he can avoid us forever. There's, there's no way he just keeps on running closer and closer to the forts up there, right? <laughs> Probably not, but I'm just saying, if we ever see Shanam in this chapter, I'm going to be very worried for myself. <laughs> uh, let me. I think I'll kill this guy just because otherwise he'll keep going down towards the church or the villages. You have to defend somehow, right? Yeah. Any merit to just visiting all the villages so the brigands stop, or no? Well, they'll still go for the church, which I can't visit until uh. the map is over. So, good thought, but unfortunately not. Um, what if I box in this guy by going here? Like, not, not even attack, maybe just stand here so that the hunter has a hard time moving out of the way. Just go with the, with the iron blade so it doesn't get wasted. Just stand here, right? Mm -hmm. And that way, Leaf can come closer without being in any range. 
So now Ralph has like actively run away from Leaf to not be recruited next turn. I think that's the way yeah, I like You would it. never do that, right? Yeah, and then also put Karen and Edda closer so that they can rescue Ralph without needing a lot of move to get back. I think that might be the mm -hmm. play here. Yeah, even like a couple extra squares should be useful. Yeah. That. Maybe put Karen's as close to Ralph as I possibly can without it going wrong. And then leave right behind, give him a lot of squares to recruit from. I think this is pretty good. I think so. And then we can even have Edda visit the shop or a village here. Um, I can keep the village. Is there, like a, is there like a backup square we can go to? Or what? Like just in case, like just just in case uh, Ralph moves to a very inconvenient location. Like, oh. is there a way we can anticipate where he could move that would be inconvenient and put Edda nearby? I don't I think really it think so. On what the enemies do, they're not going to get countered. So they'll probably go for burn because his defenses are the lowest out of everyone here, which means there's probably going to be a bunch of hunters here. Which means in theory that Ralph will probably be around there too, but it's a little hard to make a flow chart of exactly what will go wrong. I do think I want Edda close-ish to Leaf, so that we can drop Ralph near him, I guess. Or like maybe like a little bit more to the left, so that if Ralph goes left... But then again, Leaf can reach any left leftish square, right? So, where can Ralph go? He's not going to go right, probably. If he is, that's where we want Edda, I guess. Maybe Edda to mm -hmm. the right is the play. That's like the only thing that can go wrong then, I think. Yeah, let's go with that. Let me buy some door keys. Her inventory is empty, so we can buy seven door keys, which I don't remember if it's like actually needed, but there's not much else I want to spend gold on anyway, so how many do we have? Nope, that's it. That's all I got. This is my glorious inventory. Seven door keys. Always do this, guys. This, Always you may not like keys, it. Yeah. You may not like it, but this is the optimal inventory. <laughs> <laughs> Last time Edda had seven S drinks, now she has seven door keys. War never changes. This is another kill for uh, Mr. Trude. Mm -hmm. Free him from his precarious position. Last map, she had seven S strengths. This map, seven door keys. Yes. What's next? Six wanderers in the next map? War never changes. Oh, he doesn't quadruple with the brave lax. With the, with the, with the brave, the brave lax the brave lands, The lance we know. The lance of. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you. Very cool. Thank you, Linnerman. Thanks. That's uh, like 76 hit, I think. So, you know what? At least it's on brand. There you go. This will do. Get a hunter out of here. Then the axe guys. This will do. Yeah. Okay. And just have Fred move on through. I need someone to get these villages right, so might as well have it be Fred and Glade. Someone's got to get them. Got to send the calves through. Yeah. At least I'm happy they can cross mountains at least. I don't think I don't think Brighton can do that actually. He cannot. The uh, unpromoted cav are, moment. Probably gonna murder Drew if they get in range of him. Twenty-one. Yeah, he'd be dead if I left him in range, so let's right in front of him. Or like rescue him out even, because then he'll be forced to go for someone else. Which I think is better. Good job, Trude. Good, good unit. Good unit. Yeah, if we were to wall there, then the brigand would just be attacking from mountain or forest. Very yeah, inconvenient. Very inconvenient. All one can take a hit. I'll put it here with the let's see, do you have the speed to double at all? Nope. It's literally impossible mm -hmm. for this guy to double, so I'll just put all one here with the dire thunder. Take one enemy phase. Take Raparino. All in the cost. Okay, all right. Uh, if you have a cost, can you double bolting someone? Um. Well, the thing is, bolting weighs twenty, I think. Oh, so you right. You have to have higher speed, I believe. That's true. I forgot that was one of the conditions of the cost. I just yeah. thought Dagdor always doing. It. I'm like, oh, it must be. Can't say I've ever tried. I don't put a cost on all of them. That seems very dangerous. Then again, she never should be attacked anyway, basically. So maybe it is safer than on most units. Well, let's see if my plan works out. I'm going to see a lot of uh, hunters go for a uh, burn if my predictions are right. Get out of here, friend. It's the last of them. Uh, yeah, I'm just avoiding these right guys on the right because I don't have to fight them. Yeah, they're, they're really eager to go for that village, you can see it. Oh, there's some vantage action. Not very fruitful, though. That's hmm. good. Well, vantage is always, right? So. Yeah, it's always in this game, you're right. Doesn't really... didn't change the math in this case. No. In fact, that argument would be better if he didn't have vantage there, because if he got hit, he could have gotten soul afterwards and heal his damage. Small difference, but... Mm -hmm. It's kind of awkward. I'm going for Amelda over Ralph, even though Ralph is a half HP. 
interesting choice. And what will Ralph do? He literally can't go, like, up. <laughs> He's completely walled in. He has to go right or down. Or left. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. You want to square off with me, do you? <laughs> I... Did he just choose to use the Venom Bow over the Halberd, or did he just not have to move in range? Oh, well, he tried. I think he doubles him out, because the Master Sword is so heavy. He's trying to... He's trying to avoid weapon triangle, I guess, what it is. That's... that's fair. Let's... Oh, there wow. we go. Okay, that play worked out, I guess. Very convenient. Well, I guess... I guess Leaf was fine either way. Oh, this is really nice that they're killing these guys, but then Leaf can... Well, actually, Leaf doesn't matter. I'm gonna have Rescue Drop and go to the church next turn anyway. Right. Leaf doesn't matter, quote Mecha. Wait, look, look, okay, look, look. I don't mean it like that, Leaf. Please don't be offended. I just mean... I just mean Leaf is in range to do the Rookwood Ralph, and I'm happy about that. Okay, I'm just happy. This guy, we need to visit this village or kill this guy. Gotta keep that in mind. Yeah, we'll probably just visit the village, and then they'll go for the church, and that's fine. So, okay, let's let's grab Ralph. We're definitely doing that. Grab Ralph. What's up, Ralph? What up? What up? <laughs> Fighting for him, but I don't get paid. <laughs> It's really a wage slave, or not even a wage slave. He's just a slave. Nah, nah. He's, he's just a mercenary. He's just a mercenary. He's a he's a mercenary in a spare he's time. He just likes fighting a lot. It's also his hobby. Mm -hmm. You can see he has a lot of experience doing it. So is this guy you looked at? And you said, "Damn, this is super promote." Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I see why. Well, because I think like, oh, all the sites I was looking at used different names for the classes. I was like, eh, I can remember this. Uh -huh. Like I remembered Hero was a pre promote because I promoted like uh, Orson or Ocean into it. Yeah. But then, like, the side I was looking at said, I think Mercenary. I was yeah. like, I can't remember this. Weird. But, but yeah, no, this was, um, I, I said earlier, it's just kind of like going to get a string of passably good pre promotes and basically kind of like use them or rotate through them as we go through the game. I feel like this is one such pre promote, right? Like, definitely. I mean, passably good stats. I don't, I don't want to say filler unit because that implies bad, but. De definitely a unit who, like, I mean, FCM one, if you scroll down, I think he didn't have any skills. No. Right? Like, just kind of a guy. And yeah, he's got good weapon ranks and whatnot. Which, like, obviously is nothing to scoff at. Like, by the way, I'm saying all this, it sounds like I'm, like, really condemning Ralph. Like, please, if, 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 it's, if it's a filler unit, that means I'm going to like them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, no, I mean, this guy looks really great, really attractive. Like, come on, look at this mm -hmm. guy. Yeah. Super good unit. Yeah. I'm glad you said just a guy, because that's that's basically Ralph's portrait in a nutshell. It's just a dude that just defends a village for because he thinks it's the right thing to do. It's uh, the most concise and most awesome backstory in this game, I think. Uh, yeah, definitely filler in the most loving way I can call him a filler, because his stats are really good for the amount of effort I put into him, which is absolutely zero. Um, 14 speed is a really good base stat. I he might be my fastest unit, come to think of it, right now, uh, considering right now. how everyone else has grown. Um, but good enough bulk. 38 HP is really high. I actually checked a while ago, and I think he has more HP than a lot of characters that join later than this, or like equivalent. And the strength is good. Uh, the weapon ranks are absolutely insane. I mentioned earlier that he was growing weapon rank because his actual base rank is C axes plus 40, so 10 away. And while he was an NPC, he used his hand axe so often that he's always at B axes. And you might think, well, it's still one rank away from A. The funny thing is there's no A rank axis in this game. The highest rank axis is the Master Axe, which is B. So if I just chuck three more hand axes with Ralph, he'll be able to use every axe and every sword in the game other than personal weapons, which I think is quite fantastic. Again, for a unit that I put zero work into. And then A rank swords gives him all sorts of options. I went over them with Dean briefly, but basically Fire Sword, Sleep Sword, Brave Sword, um, anything else you could think of, he can use them. Uh, some of them better than others, like Sure, ranged magic sword's probably not that great with one magic, but everything else you can do is great. Much better than the iron blade and the hand axe implied. These weapons are kind of shitty, but when we give him some good weapons, he'll be highly, highly useful in combat situations. Now, combat situations from here on out will be rarer and rarer, but they do occur, and when we when they do happen, Ralph is definitely the best of them uh, to carry them out. Uh, one FCM is not great, but you can give him weapons that are strong enough to two shot most enemies that he'll be fighting, and in that case, it's not a huge issue. If you don't have to crit, you don't have to worry too much about your FCM. So, mm. overall, this is a stellar character, especially, in my, again, because you can just deploy him and use him. So if your strong units are fatigued, you can deploy him and he's just fine. Not as good as, like, a scroll, like, boosted character, like I keep saying, but really good for no effort. Mm. So, super glad to have him. Uh, like, I think he's, like, a tier above, like, Fred when it comes to just raw combat, for example. Fred and Glade are all right, but this guy is uh, quite a bit faster, quite a bit bulkier, quite a bit stronger, I think. 
you're just a point when he works. And I will say too, like we, we mentioned 14 con as a disadvantage to being able to move him around and rescue. Yeah. But that does mean that for most situations he's getting all 14 of his speed, right? Like yes. I know we always talk about oh here's a like a unit with high speed and low con is getting weighed down, but sometimes he has high speed. This guy just always has high speed apparently. Yeah. So. Unfortunately, AS thresholds are not that high in this game, so I don't think it'll occur a whole lot, but it's nice. Like, it's just another good thing about it. This is, you can't praise this guy enough. Uh, so let's just keep our units safe for this turn. Uh, we got all the three villages. We got the Killer Lands here, and then there's Skill Ring and the Armor Slayer. So now all that's left to do is for Leaf to just make it to the village or to the church. So we'll drop him there with Karen, I think. Uh, just do that. We got the shop all taken care of. Take and drop here, I suppose. And it's just a matter of like, uh, don't die, guys. So I can just literally just run away with my characters, and then sure, Perm will get attacked a couple times. I can even like protect him a little bit too. His demon range is dead. Uh, definitely stay away from the boss. Just like stand here. What, what are they gonna do to me, right? Just go away. Just, just sit still. Don't yeah. fight. So gonna get the left village, or I got them all. Are we on that? I got oh them. wait, what? Yeah, I wasn't. No, like the left, like the far left. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're that's that's next. That's next. Yeah, uh, yeah. We're not okay. quite there, but we're we're basically there. Yeah, we're we're basically there. I saw. I was like, I, I couldn't remember if it was like right here, or if it was in that mm -hmm. like far top left. I was like, uh, oh, how, how how long is it gonna be, Mecca? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if I was gonna Steph grind alone, I would like try to heal again. But in this case, I really don't think there's a there's a point to it. I think I'm just not gonna do it right now. Uh, I think she's better off with the bases she has later on. Uh, definitely, you can think of a couple situations where her. Did you look up how much magic she gets in promotion? I'm actually curious right now. She's seven right now. I could take a look. Oh, there's the brigand. We can do. Let me find these promo gains real quick. I'm expecting like a five or a four at the very least. Outwork wiki. No. You just. It's not telling you me. Can DM fee too. Be like, hey, fe five will known. Give answer, please. Oh, I'm just using this forest. I think one time I played this chapter, Amelda broke her Master Sword, so she was weighed down to like zero speed with it. But she still wasn't mm -hmm. dying because, again, invisibility flying is a hell of a drug. It's quite something. Okay, it's a lot it's of magic. Good. How much did you get? Do you remember how much it is? T t take a guess. Four or five. I'm gonna go with five. Ah, uh, six. Nice. Okay, so we got 13 <laughs> magic. So with Ensorcel. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it just lost build on D. Ah, eh, mm. it could be worse, I guess. It could be, it could be worse. worse. It's fine. Yeah, oh, and plus two move. <laughs> oh god. Uh, another fun fact that I think I've mentioned before is invincible units cannot be poisoned because that would imply that they could die to poison damage. So they cannot be poisoned. I think they, I think they cannot be status at all. So even though Amela was just hit by a Venom Bow, she's not getting poisoned here. You're right. Uh, but she doesn't know that, so she's using a phone because she's afraid of dying. Shouts to Amela. Look at this noob. Right. Well, there we go. That's yep. the map. There we go. Let me grab this uh, last village over here. Masterfully done. This parchment. Ye wouldn't happen to have any idea what this parchment is. The Euler scroll. Euler. Uh, that one is like, it's okay. I could put it on That's units without good. too much care, but speed is a pretty good stat, so I might not. We'll see. Oh, I was thinking about growths, but. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, no. yeah with like, growth, okay. this is a fine scroll to have around. Just to like stack it with the set scroll to get like massive speed growth bonus. It's kind of nice for that. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's all that. Uh, I guess what I might as well do. Uh, I don't think I really care enough about the, the ranks to just talk hand axes here, so I'll just do that later. Um, but I think what I'll do is like I'll make a quick save and like visit this church without you know using leaf. See if what he says because I forgot what it is. Good heavens. <laughs> Good heavens. Yo, where's your leader? Where Bring me the leader. Why don't you visit with another unit? This is something again. <laughs> I told you, bring me to the leader. No. We got all these villages. Oh, I can steal this. This is, can steal this is just a wyvern. This is stealable. Wait, six. Free iron bow. Yo, it's free real estate. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. Thanks, Bird. <laughs> Good catch. That's nice. And in fact, if we wanted to catch, we could even do this. No, no. Dragon Pike? You might as well. There you go. Oh, he doesn't canto. Uh, Ralph, be good, please. Yo, it's, it's more free real estate. More steel bow? We use a lot of bows in this playthrough, right? So. Yeah. 
think I sold a lot of them for the strings. All right, all that good. Makes sense. All right. Bring me the leader. Bring me the leader. Good heavens. <laughs> good heavens. <laughs> all right. Just messing around. Let's visit the actual church with Leaf. It's, all right. Let's make the actual choice. My goodness. Yeah, Ralph wasn't soloing this whole this whole army. That's for sure. Yay! Free restore. I'll cherish it. Hopefully, never have to use it. Where are you going? Yeah. So in the in the story, uh, at least two tacticians, August and what's the other guy's name, the guy from Leinster. Uh, uh, Dorius. Or Dorius. Dorius. I think with a U. I forgot. Uh, he's like. Um, you want to go A route, and he's like, no, we want to go B route. One is the forest, and one is the the front door, basically, of Lancer. Just right through the to the front door of Lancer, basically. And mm -hmm. you know, two choices: A route and B route. And that this bishop will help us. Yeah, the the mill fuel forests. And the other is the mill fuel right coastline. The forest of a thousand leaves, I think. Yeah, I don't know. It sounds like it. Uh, definitely a meal is definitely a thousand. Yeah, could be it. So the the fort route is I think overall both route chapters are fairly difficult, especially blindly. Uh, the A route, the fort route gives you better characters. It gives you Amelda, uh, who we just saw before, is pretty good. Uh, it gives you Sleuth, the guy that the bishop was just talking about, an A rank staff user. And I think that's the difference. I might be forgetting someone. someone. And B route gives you Connemore, a different paladin from uh, Amelda, quite a bit worse, but still usable. And you get Miranda, who is a. Um, oh, I forgot, I remember. But um, Miranda is a mage you can kind of raise, sort of comparable to Nino in some ways. So, kind of like an honorable huh. mage kind of character. That's and, super cool. Yeah. And also, in A route, you can recruit Ilios, but only if you don't have Olwen on your party when he's around. Uh, so he's like A-Route exclusive if you don't have Olwen. And then on the B-Route you can recruit Shanam, who is a Swordmaster with stats that exist, <laughs> sort <laughs> of, and a bargain skill. So a lot of interesting characters. I decided I'm probably going to A-Route. I'm most familiar with the characters you get there, and I think they're much better. And I think I need all the help I can get on negative growths. Uh, but the B-Route is pretty funny. It's pretty a pretty funny meme uh, kind of route. So. I'll probably make a safe state here, maybe play him as like a bonus kind of thing later, if I get to it. But for now, for this playthrough, we're going to go to Fort Northern Rhine. That's where we're headed next. I like it. And a good breakdown without giving away too much. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll be discussing this all elaborately much later on. Uh, but for now, we've got to say goodbye, and we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time.